Hello, today we're going to go over uh, elevator recall for the fire service. Um, it involves a couple of simple steps and certain keys to make the elevator recall to the uh, point of entry of a building. Usually it's on the floor that has the star on it. We're here with uh, Grant Light and myself. I'm Dave Roberto. We're going to kind of walk you through this quick and simple steps of recalling an elevator to use in a building for fire service. First thing needed is the key. Um, there is a control box, usually above the elevator controls, on the floor of entry. You turn the key to the on position. There's three positions on the switch, bypass, off, and on. The key will come out in the on mode, and it will not come out in the bypass mode. So you turn it clockwise to the on position, and it comes out. Once the switch is on, you heard the beep, the elevator recalled to our floor. The door remains open. And the only way to operate the elevator at this point is to have a key to operate the car. If a building has numerous elevators, all the elevators will recall to that level as well. And each individual elevator will need to be controlled with a key in that elevator. The switch inside of the elevator is also a three position switch. It is off, hold, and on. You need to turn the key to the on position and the key will come out as well in all three positions in this operation. The key to this then is picking the floor you want to go to below the fire. Never take the elevator to the level of the uh, incident that is reported. Our procedures manual will tell you you should report two, low, two floors below the uh, fire floor. So you can consult the procedures manual and our ops manual on how to do that. In order to get the elevator to operate now, we've turned it to the on position. We're going to close the doors with the closed door and open door switches. So you have to hold the button until the door closes completely. If you let go before it does close completely, it will not operate and it will open back up again. So we picked the floor we want to go to. We're on one, we're going to go to two. And the elevator moves. Once we get to the floor, the floor indicator up above will show you that we're on that floor, but the door will not open. The door needs to be manually opened using the button. And when you open the door, you want to be cognizant of the fact that there could be smoke on this floor, that when you start to open the door, you want to release it if you see smoke and go to a lower floor. The door when you go to open it, cannot be uh, stopped when you're opening it until it is opened all the way. If you stop part way, the door will go to close again. So when you go to open it, you have to hold the button until the door is completely open, then the door will park in the open position. This elevator will be held now on this floor so it is important that if you do take control of the elevators that we assign a member or a company to control the elevators. We're going to select the basement. We're going to go down the basement floor and we're going to show you that in an incident, like if we're traveling to a floor, we're, we're going to show you how to uh, stop the elevator. If you get on the radio, hey, we're going to two, there's a you know, good chance that the uh, floor may have been reported wrong. So somebody made it to two and they're saying, hey, the fire is on two. So we're going to select two, start our way up there, and we're going to show you the call cancel button. We hit that now that we got the report that, hey, you don't want to go to two. So it's going to take us to the floor below with the call cancel button. Some elevators will stop immediately where you are, and then you just have to pick a lower floor to go to. So we've stopped our path to, to two. So if we hit the uh, one button, it'll take us to the first floor. And then we hit the door open buttons and we'll be on the first floor. Okay, once you have arrived at a floor, the key is on the on position. We've opened the door to the floor that we want to exit the elevator on. The elevator now will stay on this floor as long as the key is out in the on position or you can turn it to the hold position as well. Some elevators require you to turn to that position to be able to remove the key. If you take the elevator key and turn it in the off position, the elevator should recall back to the point of entry where the fire service was initiated. So with doing nothing else, the door is closed after the key has been removed and it is now on its way back to the floor of entry. The elevator door will now open 
and the elevator will remain here for the next company to come behind you. Several different types of elevator keys. Today we're showing you a set of keys that has probably the six most popular in the city. Three of them are barrel keys, two of them are two-sided keys, and then there's an older single-sided keys that control the different elevators. You kind of got to know the elevators in your running area and what keys they take. It's a good thing to go over sometimes when you're doing an inspection on a building or a pre-plan to learn what is available and you know, these can be kept in the Knox box of the building and available for fire department use, you know, in the event of an emergency. Okay, in summary, what we want to go over is some of the key points that you need to use the uh, elevator in fire service. One of the things you may encounter that we didn't mention earlier in the video is there's a phase one and a phase two recall. If an alarm system is tricked by a smoke detector in an elevator lobby, the elevator will recall to the floor of entry where we are today. If it is this smoke detector on the elevator lobby of the floor entry, it will recall to the floor above. You still need to put the elevator in the fire control down here and then go to the uh, elevator once it comes down to get it here. But it actually recalls to the floor above. Um, the key to the uh, fire service is to have the proper key, turn the switch on outside of the car, turn the switch on inside the car, and then take the car to the two floors below where you need to go. Obviously, this is for a high-rise building. Today, we're in a lower uh, building with just two floors, so we really wouldn't use the elevator unless we needed to evacuate people in wheelchairs or um, some necessary equipment needs to go up that we don't want to take up and down the staircases.